Yeah, yeah. On that point, if someone listening or watching this interview has been baptised in a church that they have since realised isn't a sound biblical church, what would you say to them if they wanted to be baptised again? Well, it kind of depends. That's a great question. I'm sure a lot of people actually have, uh, you know, been in that situation. It basically it depends on a couple factors. So, and and I, you know, I think that in in these kinds of cases, it's really crucial to talk talk the specific situation over with with good godly men, uh, and, and and just say, hey, you know, what what kind of what kind of advice would you give me in this scenario? I think that that's because each scenario is going to carry with it some complications that I'm sure I'm not seeing, yeah, sure. but, but in general, I would say that if the church is, is a church that is heretical, like, you know, the Catholic church, uh, if you were a part of like, you know, the Mormon church, for example, um, yeah. you know, I, I think that we understand, okay, I was, I was not a Christian and that was not a Christian baptism. I think those are the things that you, that you're looking at is, is the church actually uh, would would anyone consider that a a christian church and would you be considered a believer if you if you weren't actually a believer no matter what you went through you just you know took a bath essentially and so i would i would look at those two factors as what kind of things are going on in the church now that doesn't mean that everything needs to be perfect with the church and it also doesn't mean you know that this was actually a big debate in the early church and i and i would say um, one does not have to be convinced that the person that baptized them was a Christian either. And, and that was a huge debate in the early church. And they said, listen, you know, you need to be baptized by a Christian. And if you were, and if it wasn't a Christian who baptized, you need to get baptized again or whatever. But, uh, I think we, we understand that even, you know, Paul's instruction about apostasy in the church and things like that, those, those things are uh, unforeseeable in, in some circumstances, and so, yeah. you know, it's just, it's the parable of the soils things, things look like, like it's good for some of the plants, but then when the trials of this world come, they, they fade away. And so I would just say that, uh, in, in general, if you are, are going through baptismal process as a believer in a church that largely, you know, we could identify, yeah, that was a solid church, despite having some problems in the leadership or despite having some errant teaching here or there. Then I would recognize that as as being valid, and I would also say that my personal conviction is that it would have to be done through immersion as well, which means that if you were baptized uh, through sprinkling or anything like that, that you would have to actually be immersed to follow that mm. command. Yeah, yeah, really good stuff. 